Listen, I don't know what the devil is trying to throw your way, but no matter what you're up against and no matter what you're facing, God can do it. It's just when we start to question and worry about all the what ifs that we actually begin to shrink back from the very thing that God has called us to. Listen, I know it seems like there is no way for it to happen. But see, it's in these moments right here that we can take a look at everything that God has already done, that he has already made a way through, that he has already come through for. And then we can literally hold on to his word that if he said it, then it will happen. If he said that you are his child, then guess what? It is so. So if he wanted to send his son to give you life, then that's what you will find. So see, our minds, they actually get so consumed into what we want it to be that actually we completely forget the strength that is found when we fully surrender and fully rely on God. Listen, I just wanted to say this. You can hold on to this right here. God can do that. God can make it happen. And watch how he does. There will be no other explanation other than God did this thing right here. See, God is saying to someone right here, right now, my word will never return void. My strength comes when you relinquish your way. I I know it seems difficult right now, but I have provided for you in the past and will continue to do so. You don't have to question everything to the point of feeling beat down. Just take a look at everything I have brought you through, my child. Just take a look at everything I have sent your way, my child. And this is where you can grab that sliver of hope to know that I will never let you down. Even at the last moment, I can make everything line up. And I know it's so easy to fall into the trap of wanting to figure everything out, of connecting all the dots, but you've got to trust right here. It's going to work out and everything is going just according to God's plan. See, the enemy tries to present all the what if and the what if this, so that way we start to fall back into our old patterns of life. But the way you'll know that this right here is a God thing is that it won't make sense, but it all flows anyway. Check this out in Matthew 19, 26. But Jesus looked at them and said, with man, Oh, I love this. With man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. So we are talking about the God who literally breathed everything into existence. And honestly, sometimes we forget this. We forget that every strand of DNA that humans have were a thought that God had and he made it happen. See, God did it. See, this is where we sometimes forget that everything had a purpose before it was even created, meaning that the trees, literally the grass, all the water, the stars, the moon, and the sun were all created with one breath of God. So right now, God, I ask that you breathe on us. I ask that you breathe on this video. I ask that you breathe on our lives, breathe on our situations. See, our prayers don't need to be these long drawn out prayers. See, check this out in Matthew 6, verse 5. This is what it says. And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But see, it actually goes deeper than just this. We can pray just simple prayers. I have actually found that this is more effective than it's actually a one-on-one conversation with our Heavenly Father that actually makes the world of difference. Oh, you've been feeling like you can't go to God because of what happened. And I'm telling you, His mercies are new every morning. His grace renews and His love never, ever folds. His love actually grows and expands over every single mess up and over every single time that we miss the mark. Listen, I don't know who this message is for and I don't know why God is putting this on my heart, but you do not have to worry anymore. You do not have to worry anymore about how it's going to happen because God can come through in the most unique and beautiful way ever. It's like one day you'll just be praying for something. And then next thing you know, you are literally sitting in the very thing that you prayed for. So don't lose hope right here. See, this is why God actually put this video on your screen, to show you to keep hoping, to show you to keep praying, to keep knowing that the heavenly father of the universe heard you. And listen, God did it. 
Acts 3.13 says it like this. No, God did it. He is the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. He is the God of all our fathers. He gave glory to Jesus, his special servant. But you handed him over to be killed. Pilate decided to let him go free. But you told Pilate you did not want him. See, he always comes through. See, he always comes through. So if God did it before, then he will do it again. And guess what? He will do it over and over. That's why God actually gave us his word. So we can hold on to what God can do and what God will do. See, they prayed and prayed for a Messiah to come. And when Jesus came in a manger, it didn't make any sense. They couldn't even see what was right in front of them. And this is why I love the salvation plan. So I don't know what you're up against and you might be facing something that's got you completely worried, but you've got to remember the God that we serve. Yeah, he's a mighty God. He is an awesome God. And, and remember that if he did it before, he will do it again and again, which means, which means this, he can come through time and time again. Check this out in Isaiah 55, 9. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. Listen, I know that betrayal really dented your heart. But see, you got to understand that God can use that too to redirect you in the right direction. That you've got to understand that God can literally use all of this to shape your future. And sometimes he actually allows these things to happen so we can deal with that side of us so he can heal that part of our heart. And it's okay to be angry and it's okay to feel like you don't know what to do. But that's when you can just praise God for what he's already done. See, he won't let you down right here, my friend. He won't let you down, child of God, and he will always be right there. So don't fear about the future. Just remain in hope and remain in God's love because guess what? God did it. Okay, so think about how Lazarus was raised from the dead for a second. He, he was Jesus's best friend, and this seemed impossible in all human logic. And actually, think about this. His sisters were actually disappointed that Jesus didn't even get there sooner. They even questioned Jesus as to why he didn't get there sooner. But I love this. I love this because that means that God allowed this to happen so he could show his glory. So people would be able to see what was coming and how God always comes through. Even when it seemed like all was lost, even when it seemed like all was gone, he was actually giving an indication of how Jesus would be raised back to life. But even further than that, he was actually showing what would happen with us as well. That as this life would guide us to death, he would raise us back to life through the power of Jesus' blood. Check this out in John eleven forty one 41 through 43. So they took away the stone and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I know that you always hear me, but I said this on account of the people standing around that they may believe that you sent me. When he said this, and when he said this, he cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. So I want to say this and just hold on to this right now. It's not over. It's not over. See, there's still more ahead of you. And when you finally see that God never fails, you will see just how much he loves you, how much he will never, ever forget to accomplish his will in your life. I want to say this, and I've got to resonate this in your spirit today. God can, God will, and God already did. And this is the biggest thing that we can apply to our lives. And watch how he comes through and blows your mind. So right here at the end of this video, type this. Say, if God did it before, he will do it again. Listen, I love you so much. I'll see you on the next video.